गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल ज्ञान मंजरी मॉडर्न स्कूल सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव जस्ट सीन अप टू द एग्जांपल नंबर फोर नाउ वी विल सी अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक और नेक्स्ट जस्ट लॉ नंबर थ्री लेट अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट द लॉ नंबर थ्री दैट इज नंबर विथ एक्सपोनेंट्स ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स एक्सपोनेंट्स ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स लॉ नंबर थ्री सी हियर आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग द लॉ नंबर थ्री ओवर ऑन द बोर्ड दैट इज इफ एक्स इज अ रेशनल नंबर इफ लॉ नंबर थ्री एक्स इज अ रेशनल नंबर इफ एक्स इज ए rational number rational number and a and b are whole number whole number then x raised to a raised to b is equal to x raised to a b x raised to a b so in this students if the numbers with exponents of exponents are there means Exponents, exponents are then that two number you have to multiply with each other. Let us see an example of it. That is example number fifteen. Example number fifteen. That is three raised to two raised to four. Three raised to two raised to four. Let us see first of all the <coughs> the method the common method that is 3 raised to 2 how many times four times so 3 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 2 okay students we have written 3 raised to 2 four times now now what happen if this way is there then what we have to do we have to add this Yes, we have to add that. So three, two plus two plus two plus two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what will be the our answer? That is two plus two, four plus two, six plus two, eight. This is our answer. See here, there is an alternate method of it. See here, I am just doing over here only. See what happened. We are doing just law method. That is three raised to two raised to four. So what we have to do? X raised to a into b. So what we'll do? We have to do three raised to two into four. So our answer is four to the eight. Three raised to eight. Here you can just see here our both answers are same. Okay, students. now moving towards next example that is example number 16 example number 16 see here what is example number 16 5 raised to 3 raised to 2 5 raised to 3 raised to 2 this is our question first of all we will do this with this common method let us do that 5 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3 so in that what we will do 5 3 plus 3 so our answer is 5 3 plus 3 6 okay students now doing with this law method so let us do that that is 5 raised to 3 raised to 2 Then our answer is five raised to three into two. 
टू देन वॉट इज दैट थ्री टू जा सिक्स सी इयर यू कैन सी इयर दिस आंसर एंड दिस आंसर बोथ आर सेम ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अवर नेक्स्ट लो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स अवर नेक्स्ट लो दैट इज लो नंबर फोर दैट इज लो नंबर फोर let us see that low number 4 writing that on the board first of all the low number 4 is numbers with zero as exponent low number 4 that is number with zero exponent that is if x is a rational number rational number other number than 0 then x raised to zero is equal to one. See here, if if x is a rational number other than the than zero, then x is equal to zero. See here, directly just seeing that there is an example over that is example number seventeen. Seeing that example number seventeen, that is. 5 raised to 2 divided by 5 raised to 2. The example number 15. Sorry, 17. 5 raised to 2 divided by 5 raised to 2. Okay, students. Now, how we will do this? Here, 5 raised to 2 divided by 5 raised to 2 then what will be there 5 raised to 2 it will come over here so minus 2 so what we get answer that is 5 raised to 0 so 5 raised to 0 is equal to 1 1 is our answer and moving towards the next law means before just moving towards next law i would like to take an another example of it which is in your which is not in your textbook see here if i take 5 raised to 5 divided by 5 raised to 5 so what will be our answer 5 raised to 5 divided by 5 raised to 5 okay students so what will happen 5 raised to 5 it will come over here so minus 5 so 5 0 is equal to 1 this is our answer and now our next law is law number 5 our next law is law number 5 so our law number 5 writing that on the board law number 5 that is if a and b if 
a and b are rational number rational number and m is any whole number whole number then a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a into b raised to m okay students this is our next law that if a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to what we have to write a into b raised to m see here let us see an example of that that is example number 18 that is example number 18 a example number 18 a that is 4 raised to 5 into 4 raised to 5 into 7 raised to 5 so now what how can we write 4 5 times so 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 1 2 3 4 and 5 times and 7 how many times 5 times so 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 we have written that so we can write this in the pair that is 4 into 7 into 4 into 7 into 4 into 7 into 4 into 7 how many 1 2 3 4 and another one that is 4 into 7 okay students see here we have write this 4 or 5 times so here there is 1 1 1 1 1 so we can write this 4 into 7 into 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 Okay students, this is our answer and in the alternate, alternate method that is this method. So, what we have to do here a is equal to 4, b is equal to 7, m is equal to 5. So, what we have to do directly 4 raised to 5 into 7 raised to 5. If it is given then what we have to do in the bracket a, a is 4, b is 7 and m is 5. This is see here both answer we get the same okay students see here now moving towards example number b sorry example number 18 b doing that that is 3 raised to 2 and 4 raised to 2 b 3 raised to 2 into 4 raised to 2 see here we will see both method 3 into 3 3 2 times and 4 2 times so, 3 into 4 into 3 into 4 in the bracket here it is 1 it is 1 over here. So, we can write this 1 plus 1 2 see here now seeing the alternate method directly law method that is 3 raised to 2 into 4 raised to 2 okay so 3 raised to 2 into 4 raised to 2 here a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4 and m is equal to 2 so, so a is 3 b is 4 and m is 2 this is our answer you can see here this answer and this answer both are same ok students please note down this
Now going towards our next law that is law number 6. Law number 6. See here, what is law number 6? Writing that on the board, law 6. Law number 6, if A and B are rational numbers, rational numbers, and m is an evolved number whole number then a raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a upon b raised to m okay students see here for that there is an example that is example number 19 a that is example number 19 a doing that example number 19 a so what is the equation of 19 a that is 3 raised to 2 divided by 5 raised to 2 so how can we write this 3 raised to 2 upon 5 raised to 2 so here you can just see that what we have to do if a raised to m upon b raised to m is there see here a value is 3 b value is 5 m raised value is 2 so how can we write this 3 upon 5 raised to 2 is our answer moving towards B that is 4 raised to 3 4 raised to 3 divided by 7 raised to 3 then in this how can we done 4 raised to 3 upon 7 raised to 3 here A value is 4 B value is 7 and M value is 3 this is our answer of example number 19. Have you wrote down student? So here we finish our six laws of powers and exponents. Now sorry only exponents. Now moving further there are some miscellaneous examples. Let us see one by one that. See here. Miscellaneous example that is example number 20 simplify using laws of exponents in this any of the laws we can just apply this so moving towards example number 20 a so what is a first of all that is 1 by 9 into 3 raised to 5 okay students 1 by 9 into 3 raised to 5 another one that is b 5 raised to a into 25 raised to b ok students now going towards c that is 
माइनस फोर रेस टू टू इन टू रेस टू थ्री एंड डी दैट इज माइनस वन बाई टू रेस टू टू रेस टू जीरो ओके स्टूडेंट्स रेस टू जीरो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स ई दैट इज टू अपॉन फाइव रेस टू सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस टू अपॉन फाइव रेस टू थ्री सो दिस आर आर एग्जांपल्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डू इट वन बाय वन See here. First, we are doing a. That is how we will solve this. Here, one upon nine is there. Then we can write nine as three into three. That is nine. Three into three. That is nine. We can write students this. So one here three raised to five upon three raised to two. When it will go upside, then what will happen? Three raised to five minus. Two. Our answer is three raised to three. So three raised to three is three. Three is a nine. Nine three is a twenty-seven. Nine three is a twenty-seven is our answer. Moving towards B. How can we write B? That is five raised to a into. How can we write this twenty-five? Just do it by your own. First of all, students. See here, we can write this five raised to two raised to b. Okay, students. Then how we can write this five raised to a into the last law? Sorry, not last law, but this we will be multiplication. That is five to b. Okay, students. Five to b. Now, now what we have to do, students? This is our Answer. Moving towards next one. Moving towards next one. That is minus four raised to two raised to three. Then in this we have to multiply this both. So minus four two into three. That is minus four raised to six. so there is an answer given in i am not just calculating that i am directly writing the answer that is 4096 4096 is our answer 4096 moving next here what we have to do here minus 1 by 2 raised to 2 raised to Zero. So this both will be multiplied. So by multiplying this one by two, two into zero is equal to zero. So our answer is one. Okay, students. Our answer is one. Now moving towards E. So in that two minus five divided by Minus if we take common two raised to five, okay students. Sorry, two by five raised to three. Now here it is seven. So what we have to do here? There is divide sign. Then what we have to do? This will be minus. This will be minus. So two raised to five, and this sign will come over here. Seven minus three. That is. Four is our answer. Let me see that it is to be calculated or not. Yes, it is to be calculated. See here, two raised to four means two into two into two into two. Two two is a four. Two two is a four. Four four is a sixteen. So here, raised to four is so. 
16 by 5 raised to 5 raised to 5 raised to sorry 5 into 5 into 5 5 5 is a 25 5 5 is a 25 now 5 5 is a 25 and this is our answer 6 to 5 but students can anybody tell me here the minus sign will come or not here the minus sign will come or not students i am just asking that yes it will come because it is out of the bracket okay students if it was inside the bracket then here it is even number so in the even number the as the do square or it's fourth or sixth then we will get the positive answer but it is we have taken outside the bracket so this is our example number 20 now please write down your homework students we have finished today and further we will see in our next video so please write down your homework students So, your today's homework is, you have to do example number 14, sorry example number 15, homework, example number, example 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 20 in your example book in and in your fair book exercise 5b question 2 3 4 5 question 2 3 4 5 that you can do it by yourself ok students question 1 2 3 4 and 5 that you have to do by your own in the or fair book up till then stay safe stay home ok bye students